Are we there? Are we rolling? We're rolling. What is up? What is up, everyone? Fuck me. It's uh, it's been a fair few days since I picked up the camera. Nothing can stop me. I'm all the way up. Hey! So, as funny as it might sound, a hairbrush has actually been an essential part of my fucking travel, travel bag. Uh, especially having long hair over here, especially the kind of hair that I've got. But, uh, before I left I've got this, so if I don't have a hairbrush, I just put some of this argan oil in there. And honestly, it softens it out so much that it's like running a hairbrush through. It's fucking sick. Even when it's wet, so that's what we'll be doing today. Alright, that's that sorted. Okay, so, I've had a message from the girls. What's up with my fucking glasses? I must have slept on them. Oh, I'm so wrecked. I hope I've... I've got to go get a coffee, that's what I've got to do. That's what's missing. <laughs> I actually haven't been drinking a lot of caffeine or a lot of coffee this holiday because when I'm hungover, uh, Caffeine just does not agree with me. So this morning we're starting off with a nice big coffee down in the breakfast lounge. I'm going to go down there, I'm going to have my coffee, and then I'm going to come straight back up and try and get a quick workout in. So it's 8 o'clock now, I think we're leaving at about 9.30. Um, the way I see it, 15 minutes coffee, half an hour to 45 minutes working out, go back down there, get breakfast for 15 minutes, come back up here, pack my shit up, get all this stuff sorted that's charging and then head off. So we've got the power bank, we've got the GoPro, we've got the camera battery, and that is about it, my friends. So with all that being said, I'm gonna head downstairs and get my fresh coffee. And it's beautiful coffee, I've gotta show you guys. I'll see you down there. Now this is one out of an elevator. It's completely, it's like a capsule. I think I showed you guys last time I stayed here, but it is kind of out of it. Although everyone can see what I'm doing. All right guys, we're sitting here at breakfast and this is the menu that I was talking about. This is an amazing fucking menu and you can get whatever you want for four hours. Have a look at this. safely say I've definitely got my caffeine kick and uh, now it's off to the gym so let's see how good I am if I can remember how to get there. I think it's on level 5 so let's go check it out. I 
I think the last time I was here was actually exactly one year ago, believe it or not. It was um, October last year. So this is, this is, uh, <laughs> this is deja vu, really. So I've had a message from the girls, they're up already, they're going to get breakfast. I didn't tell them I was going to have a workout before I left because I didn't want to stress them out, especially my sister. But uh, that is what's going down. So let's go check out this gym. Now, if I can remember correctly, I believe it's just around this corner. And would you look at that. Boom. Ah, just as I left it. Fan fucking tested. Whole place to myself. That's what you get when you train on holidays, man, especially in hotel gyms. Or ones that aren't huge. You usually have the thing to yourself, so it's free reign, man. What do we got? We got dumbbells. I'll just show you quickly what we've got. We've got a rack of dumbbells up to 20 kilos. We've got a station over there, which is going to be nothing compared to the one in Darwin, because that one was absolutely sick. And, uh, and we've got a couple of cardio things, definitely not going to go over there. So first things first, to get myself a cup of water. And then the next thing is deciding what to train. I've only got half an hour, it's going to be arms. Let's do this. So the plan is to smash out 10 sets of biceps, 10 sets of triceps, 30 seconds rest between. We're going for the pump, that's all I can do, I've only got half an hour. Let's do this! So that's set number three with 12 kilos. We've done three sets of 12 with 12 kilo dumbbells. We're moving up to 20 kilo dumbbells. I'm going to switch to hammer curls and I'm going to do five, six, seven more sets, as many as I want to do until my fucking biceps are burning. And then it's on to triceps. As well. The way I see it, we've got tricep push down and close grip press ups. On to the next set. By the way, I fucking love this song. I love it.
Whew. All right, that's enough of that. We're doing some triceps now. I'm going to start with close grip, close grip push-ups. Tell you what guys, one thing I am proud of over the years of training in the gym is doesn't matter where I am, doesn't matter how I'm feeling, once I step in those doors, it's all fucking business man. Intensity is key. Doesn't matter what equipment, doesn't matter where the fuck you are, I've got fuck all equipment, but the intensity is still 100%, doesn't matter what exercise, you've got to be able to push yourself man. And it is fucking hot, fucking humid. All the sessions I've done here have been humid as fuck. The alcohol has been pouring out of me, but the intensity has still been there. And that is key, man. That's key. And I'll tell you what, if anything, I've got Lena this holiday. And that is a fucking success. Alright guys, pretty much at the end of it, I gotta fucking get my move on, <laughs> I don't want these girls stressing out, so this last set is just gonna be some push downs, superseded with some tricep push ups, and I'm gonna do it to some Justin Bieber, and this is gonna be the last set, but it's gonna be the best set, like I always say, so it doesn't matter how your workout's gone, once you get to that last set, make it your fucking best set man, and you walk out of the gym feeling amazing, let's do it. Where are you, babes? Come on. Oh, yeah. Yeah.